Hey, is your hair nice? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go. Always. No. Hi. <laughs> okay, shall we do this or not? <laughs> yeah, we do it. Do it. Come on. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Sit in It for a Bit uh, with Arne and Carlos. And we are, as always, your hosts. Arne and Carlos. And we are back with yet another podcast. Uh, and it's not live today either. No. Nope. Because today is raining and uh, tomorrow is going to be a better day. Yeah, we missed the whole day in the garden, actually. Yeah, we've been indoors. Uh, we were indoors yesterday and we'll be indoors most of the day today. Actually, we can sit outside because it's not cold. No, it's not cold. It's just but raining. It's raining. Yeah. So. But tomorrow, the weather forecast, which you, you should never trust anyway because it's always wrong nowadays. Yeah. But the weather forecast is saying that it's not going to rain tomorrow, which means we'll be able to hang out in our garden and do all sorts of fun things. Yeah. And they also said it should, like yesterday, it should be heavy rain. I don't think it was that heavy. It's not heavy today no, either. No, so, it's just raining. Yeah. We've also got some machinery being operated. If you hear some uh, weird sounds. <laughs> so we don't know what it is. We don't but... know what it is, but it is over at our neighbors. Um, it looks like they are emptying something or is it a container maybe yeah. that it's they're about... installing. I don't know what it is, what it was. It was a machine I've never seen before. Yeah. But I guess they are cleaning. The they're house. doing something. There's a big empty house there. Yeah. Maybe they're cleaning that one. Maybe they are, yeah. It's time to clean right now. Yeah. Like we are also cleaning because we had we had this window on the on the hanger. Yeah. And the carpenters went up in the hanger to take the window out. It mm. was on a pull, pallet, pallet. Pallet, yes. And one of them almost uh, went through the floor in the hanger because it's been out so mm. many winters in the snow and it's rotten. So today I am. Um, I found this machine in the in the storage mm -hmm. house, the, the studio. I think it's uh, the Winkelschlitter. I don't know what that is in English. It's this machine, and you there's like this wheel or this flat wheel. Mm -hmm. And you can cut iron with it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because I have to cut something on the hanger to put a new floor in. Oh, so yeah, I'm going to yeah. pick up oh, a new floor. They're today. not going to do it at the store? No, they just sell the floor. Well, they should help you. I mean, it's not easy. Uh, maybe, to do maybe they, they're things. kind. They're nice people. So. Yeah. I mean, Arne, Arne is better than me at all these mechanical things. I'm very uh, handy. I'm really bad. At <laughs> anyway, after the podcast uh, is finished recording, we should go over to our neighbors, you know, be good neighbors. Um, being a good neighbor is just another word for being a busybody. Or noisy. No, no, <laughs> no you, not you, noisy. A busybody. Yeah, yeah curious. curious. You want to know what's going, what's on. going on. So you just pretend to go over <laughs> to offer your help or something. And actually, the only thing you want to accomplish is to find out what what's they're going doing. On. Like, so I don't think we need to help anybody. We need to help ourselves first. Have you seen how much garbage I've collected in the garage? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's time to do. Well, it's not really garbage. It's plastic and uh, yeah, plastic stuff. and stuff from yeah. renovating and a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. As you know, uh, we've been very busy with a lot of renovations. Actually, repair work. Uh, it's not redecorating, unfortunately. I wish it was only yeah, redecorating. Only, yeah, yeah, no, that's but yeah, <laughs> we've done um, we've done the bedroom. Um, the ceiling had to have a big repair because uh, uh, a lot of heat was escaping. And then in the winter, um, when the snow falls, um, the heat melts it into these ice picks yeah. on the um, on the roof, which are actually dangerous and not nice. And it destroyed the roof. And it destroyed the so. roof. So we had to do some repairs. And as we had to do some repairs. We just decided to redecorate, yeah. like we need an excuse One for that. One thing leads to another. Yeah, exactly. It's, ne it's never ending. Mm. Never. And yesterday we had a plumber here uh, because when we wash our clothes, um, there's a lot of iron in the water. We have our own well uh, with beautiful water from the mountain, but it's got a lot of iron in it. And we've got this filter that purifies or cleans the water, but um, apparently not. it's not working. No. So uh, our water is a little bit brown, and when we wash clothes, especially white clothes, now they're fading. So we had to have the plumber here to take some analysis of the water yeah. and they're going to see what's wrong with the filter. And yeah, so we got something like another yeah. filter in the basement where yeah. you can put something in. I don't know yeah. what it the is. The solution is get another filter. We only have three. <laughs> so now we're going to get a fourth. <laughs> yeah. It's and something. And we're going to build an extension to our house. That and that's is, been going on for how many years now? Well, we haven't been able to afford the extension. So uh, when we finally borrowed the money from the bank, the pandemic came. Yeah. And then we have to do some repairs over at our studio. And we started to do the foundation us. and then the winter, that, that spring, we had so much snow one year and the, 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 
the heat came very quick mm. and the snow got really heavy and it broke down the part of the roof, that, the part that sticks out from the wall. And then we had to repair that. Yeah. And then we fixed the beetle. Yeah. And then we had to build the garage. And then everything stopped. So and now we're going to do the extension, finally, yeah. and the kitchen. Yeah. So <laughs> it's going to be a busy fall. And yeah. we're not going to be living very comfortably here. At one point, we're not even going to have a kitchen. And it's not like we live somewhere where we can order takeout. No. We, but, we you know, we can call can and order. And we, yeah, we could go. There's like a little food truck with Thai food. That's really cool. Yeah, and that's pretty, but that's it. Or yeah. there's a Chinese restaurant, which is not very or good. Some or a pizzeria. Hamburgers, maybe. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, so, so we, yeah. we're going to have to figure this out somehow. Yeah. And then when we, we decided to continue with the, the extension of the house, just to be safe, I went to the commune, the commune, council? council, just to check that everything was okay, because mm -hmm. everything was okay. And before they said you can start the project. It, it, it has to be started within three within years. Within three years. Yeah. And then they said then you can do, finish it whenever you want. And mm -hmm. those rules are not correct anymore. So now we have to reapply. You have to finish it in between in five years. You start. Did you talk to them again? I, yeah, I talked to the lady in the office and she said there's no need to discuss this. Just send the new drawing. Oh, she got upset. I think she got a little bit upset with me because I was saying, I said, like, we had two years of lockdown. Doesn't that count? And this is not the information I got when we applied. Hmm. Then she was like, like, no, computer says no. Yeah, she's one of those. <laughs> so, she's so one of those computer a new says drawing no. So, in yeah. the office because you had to change some things and... Yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, but we can't start. Can we start it yes, anyway? Yes, she said you can, you can just start. Oh, so God. I said the plumber is coming. So what's the point? So, <laughs> yeah, just start. And yeah. if, some, if, if they suddenly say, no, you can't do this or that, then I will go with the bill to the yeah, council. Yeah. But they this, is, this is stupidity, <laughs> in my opinion. This is stupidity at, it, at, at its best. Yeah. We have to apply for something that we have already gained permission to do. Um, and we can still start it now, even if they haven't reissued the permission, uh, because we have already been approved. But they need a form anyway, because they need to put it in their folder. I mean, that's, I think they need a lot of folders. Yeah, it's stupid. It is completely, totally stupid. But it's well, that's, that's, the way it is. So yeah, there's we're, nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. So, so it's just you just have to smile and be. And be nice, because if you're not nice, um, then, then they'll, they'll uh, make it hard on yeah. you. That's, that's how they But the plumbing roll. is yeah. uh, started now. Yeah. We just wait for the concrete to come, and then he will put down the mm. last things. And we also had pipes leading from this house to the other, to the mm. house that will be the studio. So yeah. we can have floor heating from the yeah. water in the, la the garden. Anyway, this is the eternal uh, <laughs> renovation. I wish uh, I wish it were easy. I wish you could do this and it all was yeah, done. That, that won't happen. But that won't happen. Yeah. Uh, but we're not here to talk about renovation. No, let's are talk we? about something nice because we've been clean. I'm in cleaning. I'm cleaning and mm -hmm. I'm uh, redesigning. Oh. Uh, and look at my jacket now. The oh yeah yeah the yeah. satin style sweater that shrinked now shrunk shrunk. I have actually I think I have one row more mm. and then I can fold this down over the raw edge and sew it down. Yeah. And this is a picot. There's like two together and yarn over. It's a great so work in like, progress. There's these holes. Yeah. You can see some holes there. Remember, Arne, yeah, that we need to do a little video on that as well. A little YouTube we will, short. We but now we do step by step. We yeah. Have, we, we re just recorded the knit stitch. We that did. Will be out this week. Actually, by the time people see this, it is already knit out. Knit stitch is out. And then we do the purl stitch. Because the knit, knit stitch was out today. Yeah. I mean, today in our time, because today is Tuesday, Tuesday morning. Yeah, and this and, is, you see it on and you're going to see this uh, podcast on Wednesday. Now, um, last week, we were very unlucky. I mean, I'm just digressing here, but anyway. <laughs> last week, we were extremely unlucky because we posted or we recorded the podcast because uh, we had a lot of stuff to do and we just didn't have time to do it at six o'clock. So we did it in the morning on Wednesday. And then it took 18 hours to upload the podcast to YouTube, yeah. which meant it wasn't on time. And I'm still beating myself over that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So at least today we're doing it um, to be sure early in the morning on Tuesday so that it gets those 18 hours to upload 
onto YouTube. I mean, it's not, what's going on? This is not green. It's green. Look, it's green. Why oh, is it green? Yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Microphone misfunction, <laughs> but not really. <laughs> anyway, uh, what, was this? what was I saying? And then we, it's like 18 hours. Oh yeah, yeah, 18 now. hours to download. So this time, uh, better be safe than sorry. Um, therefore, we are recording it but today. But why is that? Has it been as such so late before? Well, if it's high, if it's high uh, definition HD, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's it you happens. know these are big files. Um, yeah, this YouTube thing is pretty intense. Yeah. It's a lot of work. I mean, believe us, uh, it's not only sitting down here and doing the podcast. There's so many things behind the scenes that have to be yeah. done as well. Uh, you wouldn't believe it. And then, of course, nowadays when we're also doing the shorts, we've got a lot of work there. Yeah. Um, and then we're recording our regular episodes. Um, and it's just, uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of work. And, um, and nowadays, Anna, Eric, and PJ are on... Oh! Mosquito. I killed one. Anna, Eric, and PJ are on vacation. Save mosquitoes. No, no, really, no. <laughs> well, I one hate more. mosquitoes. <laughs> so they're, they're on vacation, so we have no choice but to, um, you know, do everything on our own now, yeah. which, is, uh, which is hard. I'm talking about shorts. I've done... Mm -hmm short films on this mm -hmm. so we're going to put together a short because this is linked to a video we did a long time ago mm -hmm. and we forgot about it yeah. so if you want to see the first part it's on youtube already yeah. and on the How sunday to video the sticking and then we do a short yeah and i didn't make a buttonhole up here because mm -hmm. you know why you know when i got that full costume from gary the saddest doll do yeah. not the vest had a really nice um was a spenne what's that again? buckle buckle and but, you're going to put a buckle. And I took that off the folk costume and put on one in silver. Yes, you did. And now you're going to put the buckle. That buckle oh. And that buckle will be on this one. So there will be buttons and then a buckle. So you're going to put a little bit of Gary in your um, Yeah, And it's a little cardigan. bit traditional also. A lot mm. of, I've seen a lot of old jackets who have buckles yeah. up in the... Okay, I'm going to do this one more time. <laughs> you will do this the whole time. No, no, no. We are at war with the mosquitoes. Now, um, now our insect hotels are something we really love doing and a lot of people don't understand why we're doing the insect hotels they think it's it's stupid that we want to protect insects uh, the insect hotel is done for the pollinators because without pollinators think about it yeah. if we don't have insects that pollinate plants we are not going to get any food anymore and this was all over the news in norway now how the bees are dying yeah because and with no bees there will be any flowers or fruit or anything yeah. and that's why we build so the insect hotels. The insect hotels uh, its only purpose is for the pollinators to have a little place to spend their winters yeah. and hibernate so that we can continue uh, with bees, having bees in our garden and having these bees pollinate um, and so that they don't die out, so you that know we what have food. If you don't have the bees, are you? How far have you come in that book? The, um, the I've story, yeah, yeah. I've only started the, the story, the history of bees history by Maya bees. Lunde. Yeah. There is a whole story about Tao. Tao is a Chinese woman who lives um, in the future, and her job is to climb trees and pollinate them by okay. hand. So they climb up with small brushes and they pollinate the trees to get fruit. The so flowers. That's the, the flowers. Yeah. So that's the future. That's the future uh, if the bees uh, are gone. So and we don't build want the that. insect hotel. Maybe it helps. So we're building the insect hotel for our pollinators. Um, but something that we hate <laughs> is the mosquitoes. <laughs> and there's so many. Um, I think this year it was very cold in the beginning of June. And now they said the heat, the, yeah. the heat this the, this June was the record. It's mm. never been so warm in June before, as long as they have measured the temperatures. So maybe yeah. all the mosquitoes been lying there the first weeks or the first days in June when it was yeah. cold, just waiting for we the heat. We have never had as many mosquitoes no. as we had this year, and we've gone to war with them. So I told Arne I can't handle it anymore because I was working inside <laughs> and I was just being thing. attacked okay. by all these horrific <laughs> mosquitoes. So we went out and we got a very expensive mosquito <laughs> very magnet. Ugly. It's hideous. <laughs> it is really the ugliest thing. I mean, it's like a barbecue grill, so but now really we, now ugly. We, use, we still use it, but I may, I'm afraid it will end up with... Uh... No, no, no. This one is good. So this is a cool one. You, you attach it to a gas tank. Uh, and the mosquito magnet, it converts the gas into um, oxygen, see, uh, the thing that we breathe, we humans. 
So when it converts it to oxygen and it spreads the oxygen out, that's what attracts the mosquitoes. And then you put a little thing you know, underneath. Like something that smells really good. That, you know, smells like human. Yeah, there's a smell that the mosquitoes oh, the mosquito love. Think it's good. So then the mosquitoes are attracted to that and then they get caught in there. And then they, you know, they get caught they in there. They just fly around like and crazy and they're like trying to get that. Supposedly, thing. supposedly in 10 days, in 10 days, we will already notice results. Um, and in about a month, we will actually, it's never going to be mosquito free ever, <laughs> but we're going to notice that it's going to get significantly better, um, hopefully. We have to keep leave some of them for the birds. Yeah. The swallows are flying around catching something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we'll we'll open that, you know, with the dead mosquitoes and we'll just feed all the birds. On the which is bird good. feeder with dead mosquitoes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Yuck. Oh. <laughs> oh, but all the small one, the, the knot, yeah. but this is a tiny black one, you can't hear it. And you just it just bites. And there there are so many of them. Yeah. So. so anyway, we're catching mosquitoes now. Yeah. Um and uh, before we bought it, I had to read about um whether it attracts bees, butterflies, and uh, insects like that, and it doesn't. No. So the bees and the butterflies are not attracted by this machine, only uh, mosquitoes. Because they don't look for people. Mosquitoes look for people yeah. and animals and blood. So, uh, not, this, not the butterflies. So insect hotels are, are for uh, pollinators like bees. We want those in our garden all the time, as many as possible. That's a big yes. <laughs> Mosquitoes, they go into the insect magnet because they are a big no-no. I hate them. And we're never going to eradicate them anyway from our no, property. No, no chance. But, but um, they don't like me. No, they love me. Yeah, you're like, you're bitten all over. Yeah. And I hardly... They love my perfume, <laughs> I, hardly, I guess. Yeah. I don't wear perfume, but my human, <laughs> my wearing, human perfume. Yeah, maybe you should put on some perfume they don't like. Yeah. And the next thing I'm going to get, Arne, because you know me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a Virgo <laughs> and I'm a bit anal so uh, <laughs> the next thing that I'm gonna get okay so we've gotten our mosquito thing the hideous machine uh, the next one is I'm getting those for the tables oh yeah yeah the ones you that you put on the table also. yeah yeah oh yeah 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 I'm not satisfied <laughs> <laughs> but then the instruction said the machine should be like in the open space. There should be no plants around. There should be no walls yeah. or anything. And there are no open space in this garden. Because it's beautiful. So we need to have these other things yeah. if you want to get rid of them. Another thing the machine or the packaging said, it was it, there was no sound. It makes no noise. Uh, we can hear it. Um, I don't know what their definition of noise is. <laughs> I don't but know. But their Maybe definition, whoever, whoever uh, wrote that in the package, <laughs> might, you know, might... Be deaf. Yeah, you know we're very it makes sensitive to noise because there's hard, there's normally not noise around. Yeah. Like now we well, hear that now machine a lot of noise. or the thing. It sounds like something drops into a container. Yeah, and that is very disturbing. So let's go. Very quiet let's around. go and help. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Well, well, I can go with the garbage. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's take the walk. The dog <laughs> well, out we have for to a walk. walk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you know, yesterday. Let's I be the nosy walk, neighbors. I managed to walk around like 500 meters with Freya. No, oh, that's a lot. Before she went, that's she a ten-minute walk. Yeah, and now with I'm, really, her. I'm really tough with her. Now I just drag her with me. She needs to take that walk. Yeah, she, she can't does. decide all the time. But so, she's so old. She yeah, she's walk. old, and and she's had some prolapses on her um, spine, mm. so on her back. So um, because she's a dog and she can't tell us, we don't know whether she doesn't. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> So because she's a dog, we don't know uh, if, if she's just being old and a little bit lazy or if, or if she has pain because she can't tell us. So we is. talked to the vet and, and, and we told the vet that we don't want to, I mean, we don't want to be can't force her. forceful. But And then the vet said, no, don't, don't you know, use your force against no. her. Obviously, you can't. She's so, she's so tiny, small anyway. But drag her with your But, you know, I mean, uh, what you do is you, you walk with her and when she stops, you just stop as well. Yeah. And you just look at her. And you just don't move, and then you start walking again, and then she'll just, you know, eventually, she'll, <laughs> she'll, she'll cave in. Yeah. But the thing is, we don't know whether it's pain, or whether it's just old age and laziness. So we we have to be careful yeah, anyway, be careful. and gentle. Mm. She's should so we, sweet. Should we talk about the scarf? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, I've lost Listen. my my thread anyway. I have yeah. no idea where. It's still growing. So. There's, I th there's one thing we want. I want to mention. Okay. So when you start to knit every row, you can do you can knit the, or purl the first stitch. It doesn't matter. But we slip it, and if, 
in Norway, if you slip a stitch, it says slip a stitch and purl or slip a stitch and knit. But mm -hmm. if you knit in English, it's you have to. They tell you where to put the yarn. And the reason is that if you're on the if you're on the purl side, the yarn should be facing you, and mm. on the knit side. No, sorry, how is that? Yeah, the yarn should be facing you, and on the knit side, the yarn should be on the back. Mm -hmm. And the reason is that this way you get this line of stitches. stitches on the side. Which is very pretty. If you're not careful with this, you will lock those if you pull the yarn over, then it will be a very not so nice mm. edge. And there's another thing, if you, if you think it's hard to get the stitches similar when you knit, when you, when you slip right? knit, yeah, symmetrical, if you slip knit and lift over on one side and knit two together on the other, other side, you can always do like we do when like Norwegian style. If you feel that the tension is a bit off, sometimes you just lift your finger like this and you grab the yarn again. Mm, which so, is what so, we taught you yesterday yeah, in our so short. Do, use that technique, then you tighten everything up. And if you think that um, the, the pull over stretch the stitch too much, you can always knit two together in the back loop. Mm. It looks the same. Yeah. But sometimes it's more practical to slip a knit and lift over, and sometimes it's easier to just knit two together in the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's the tips of the day. That's the tip of the day. And of the uh, day. check out our shorts on, uh, on uh, knitting uh, the Norwegian way. And also you can check uh, our videos that we've done in the past yeah. on knitting the Norwegian way, uh, which are really um, good to learn a new technique where you uh, pretty much Instead of doing this with your fingers, you are relaxing holding by holding there. You know, this in the long term, it will give you tendonitis. Uh, this in the long term is a little bit better for you. Um, so we're kind of saying it's more er ergon ergonomic and mm. you knit with a little bit less pain than when you do this. This is really bad for you, the way you, you hold. Yeah, you're also having more contact yeah. with your work mm. because you, you, have, you, you feel more the tension because you're way you're down there so yeah. you can actually control the tension more easy than up there mm. especially yeah. this especially gives like me if you do color work there will be two different tensions yeah they so, will never look the same so try holding the yarn the way we do it and try uh just a suggestion we're not telling you that's the right way to do it but we're telling but you, you we're like. telling if you, you to problems, try right. and uh, it is actually better for your hands it's better for everything uh, here as well. We actually zoomed. We haven't told you guys about this, but a few weeks ago we had a nice one-on-one uh, -on -one zoom with our friend over in California, Carson Demiers. Yeah. He is a physiotherapist and we were talking a lot about this um, kind of like the techniques. way the knitting techniques and how to uh, hold your knitting in a way um, that is more comfortable and that won't give you tendonitis. And he was uh, in agreement with us uh, about the the fact that this holding your fingers up in the air is not very good for your for your arm and uh, it will give you tendonitis. Um, he does classes. Um, oops, another one. <laughs> he does classes. So if you ever have a chance to take a, a class with Carson uh, on ergonomic knitting, we highly recommend that. Um, and I think he's done a book as well. Yeah, we've got so, the book somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. have the book. It's so, a thick one, a Bible. So look him up, uh, Carson Demiers. I think his uh, last name is pronounced. Uh, and uh, look him up. He's got an Instagram um, page as well, or an Instagram. And he's really, really good at this. And, and this is what he does, because he's a physiotherapist. Yeah. So um, I think that that whole thing of connecting knitting with ergonomics is, uh, is quite good, because a lot of people do struggle with pain. Um, and we're just giving you an alternative. Um, an idea of a way that you can do it uh, that will be a little bit less painful and that will take a little a bit of the strain off, you know, when you're doing this. At least when we do workshops around the world and we teach people how to do this, a lot of people say that it actually changed a lot for them. It's more comfortable. It's more comfortable yeah. and people have told us that this yeah. is very hurtful after a while. Yeah. And the thing Not that we know because we never do it. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, when you start, if you change your, the way you hold your needles, when you start doing that, um, it is not going to feel comfortable because something that is new is never comfortable, especially if you've been doing it for mm. 
40 years in another way. Obviously, it is going to take some effort. But as they say, practice makes perfect. Um, and what you need to do is you need to persevere and you need to keep at it. And it will feel painful in the beginning or you will feel like you're straining a lot. But as you, as you keep going, um, the more you yeah, do it, the more, yeah, the more you do it and the more you get used to it, the more you will start relaxing. And it's all about relaxing those shoulders and it's all about holding it in a, yeah. in a comfortable way. Uh, and it's all about uh, persevering. And the more you do it, the more you will let go, the more you will relax. And eventually when you really get the hang of it, it will be more comfortable. And um, also it's a very quick way to knit. Yeah. And then a lot of people will say they never have that problem and that is good. Then you continue. If you've never, if you, if you, you, if you knit like this and you've never had tendonitis and you've never had issues with your hands, good for you. Don't, good for you. Don't change but, it. But uh, don't change it. But a lot of people do have uh, issues. Um, a lot of but people do have issues. But if you have problems issues. with those two stitches when you knit two together or you sl knit slip over, try. Try mm. that the finger down and yeah. pull it and or knit two together in the back loop. Yeah, do that. It's more it's easy to control because you're closer to your knit and yeah. it's like it's not the knitting is over there and your hair it's like it's, yeah. you, you work together. You work. Yeah, exactly. And then it's the whole thing that we always say uh, and we can't say it enough when you have issues with your gauge swatches when you knit a gauge swatch and it's supposed to be 22 stitches per 10 centimeters or four inches if you have 20 three or 24 stitches you're knitting too tightly and then or if you have 18 19 stitches you're knitting too loosely and you can't really change that by holding it even tighter or holding no, it even looser needle. it's better to go up a size in needle or go down here yeah. kill it <laughs> this is a very this yeah. is a very violent episode yeah, they, yeah it is it's full of violence <laughs> we have to put a content warning here yeah, this is not for the yeah, faint for the faint hearted Arne, um, it says seven to ten days before we notice the results. Yeah, it's only been two days, so yeah, we so still have still a few days. But I'm totally getting those things for the tables. Yeah. I'm gonna and if it doesn't work, we have to give it back to the store. I'm putting one thing for the table here, one thing for the table on the other side. Because I've had it with these mosquitoes. <laughs> I, l I look like <laughs> I have... You know when we get the extension of the house, there's even another wall. So there will be very, we will be very protected yeah. on the other porch. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, I hope but, yeah. I hope we've placed this thing in the correct area. Yeah. Uh, but we've got a guy coming on. You one is coming on the weekend. Yeah, and he's a good guy. He's like a he's a personal trainer, not our personal trainer. He's actually <laughs> no, <a friend>. no, <laughs> <laughs> he's a friend. But he, I don't think people were thinking, wow, they have a personal trainer. Yeah, no, no, no. no. no, no he's a like friend, that. but he's a personal trainer. <laughs> he's also a builder. Yeah. Um, and uh, can build something for it. No, but I'm th no, that's not what I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking he is a very practical person, yeah, he is, and practical. I think that he could give us some advice on, on the best place to place it, uh, because we need to think uh, alternatively. Because I, maybe this is not working. We'll see in ten but days. We try over by the greenhouse as well. Yeah, because but, it's more open there. But you know me, I'm expecting zero insects. So uh, that won't happen. That or it, zero mosquitoes. That's not going to happen. Anyway, back to our knitting. Uh, <laughs> we're going to be doing the pearl next uh, week yeah. on a YouTube short. Um, and from there, we'll take it all the way to all sorts of fun Everything things. we can think about. If yeah. you know, if, you, if there's something you want to see, how we do, just let us, let know. us know. We're going to do different knitting tips of different sorts as well, like our little hacks during these shorts. Yeah. And, um, you know, once you start doing the YouTube shorts uh, and you start getting the hang, it's actually a lot of fun. It's quite fun, actually. And yeah. you, can, you, can, you can cut, you can put the films together yourself. Yeah, an app for everything. Originally, it was difficult because uh, a lot of what we do is has been tutorial wise, and it's actually really difficult when it's just the two of us. How to edit it, mm. how to hold the camera, how to do everything, you know. And then at the same time, you have to talk. And then we looked at different uh, people's uh, shorts mm -hmm. here on YouTube, how they do them, and also on Instagram and. Uh, we really like this voiceover concept because all we need to do now... You can focus on one thing yeah, at a time. <laughs> yeah, all we need to do is whenever we feel like recording something, we record it yeah. like that, and then it's done. And then when we edit it together, we can add the voice then. Um, and that actually has worked pretty well. Yeah. We started this when we did Hadrian's Wall, mm -hmm. when we did our recaps from the wall, and we've kept going since then. And I think we're going to hopefully be able to do more. 
so that we'll keep going with um, with recaps. Yeah, as long as we are, we will be at home until August. Yeah, and then so when we go away, when we do our knitting cruise, we'll do the shorts from yeah. the knitting cruise, right? Yeah. And then from that we'll keep going. We're going to be traveling, and we're doing, yeah. you know, this, 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 and that. So, so yeah, it's it's fun. And then we're going to keep doing the knitting, uh, how to knit in sixty seconds, mm -hmm. and the shenanigans on the Fridays. Shenanigans. So, um, if you don't know yet, our schedule here on YouTube is uh, Mondays is the Pajama Gardeners, Tuesdays is Learn How to Knit in sixty seconds. Eventually, we will start alternating it with crochet as well. Yeah. Wednesdays is uh, for the moment sit in it for a bit. Thursdays is the Pajama Gardeners again, and Friday is Arne Carlos and their shenanigans. Um, and that can be anything. Yeah. And then on Sundays, currently, we are doing um, what we usually do, tutorials and regular episodes. But in July, we have to do reruns because Eric, Anna, and PJ are away. And unfortunately, our re reruns get, generate less views. Um, and if you are interested in helping us out, uh, we would really ask you, please watch the rerun, even if you have watched it before, don't say, oh, I've watched it again. We picked the ones that were our favorite mm -hmm. in the past year um, and that you get to see again with new commentary, um, maybe a little behind the scenes. That reminds me about something because we have this membership now and Anna sent me a list. So this morning I started to make new, new what do you emojis. Call emojis. Yeah, we're going to do new emojis. Yeah. Emojis that you yeah. can use. But anyway, so please watch our reruns as well. The views help us a lot here on YouTube. We really need to generate views. It's uh, it's a struggle to get you know to keep the channel going. It's been like that for uh, since we started it, and um, it just gets more and more complex uh, every year. <laughs> yeah, <it never laughs> so is. we really need the views, and we really appreciate uh, that you are helping us out by watching. And sit in it for a bit. We'll continue on Wednesdays until uh, August uh, 9th, I think it is. Yeah. And after that, we will see what happens because we're going to start uh, traveling again. So maybe and shorts. we're thinking maybe we are going to be doing um, every 14 days or something. We're going to change sit in, uh, sit in it for a bit again. Unfortunately, it has to change because we won't be able to keep it up. And uh, the problem is when we stop and we start again and then we're away for a very long period, the YouTube algorithm um, screws us over. Yeah. So um, we need to have... I think this will be easier when we, when we retire. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> then it will be easier. <laughs> so we need to have it constant, and we need the YouTube algorithm to understand that this is the way it is so that it can promote our episodes. So um, the solution is probably to do sit in it for a bit every 14 days, which is probably what's going to happen from this fall. Um, but we don't know yet, so... We will keep you updated. There are going to be some changes, though, on yeah. our schedule because of all the travel. There's no yes. way getting around that, unfortunately. So, yeah, that was a little bit of that. And, yeah, okay. the memberships uh, are a great way to support us as well. Uh, we launched the memberships in uh, May. And uh, at the moment, there's two tiers that you can do. You can do a $5 a month. Or you can do a $10 a month. And the $5 a month will give you the emojis and the badges. And we're doing a lot of new emojis like, I'm so good. Uh, what <laughs> else? It's a long list. Yeah? I well, don't remember. We can't all do all of them. But no, I just, I just started. But I'm so good is going to be a new out. emoji. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll get some Christmas balls out there for Christmas. Maybe some Christmas stockings as well, emojis. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we'll the see. emojis. We'll are, see, have to see. see how it works yeah. on emoji also. Yeah, and the emojis is a fun way. I mean, you support us uh, and the channel. And at the same time, you get the little emojis to put on your comments here on, on it's fun to see them in the comments yeah we love yeah. seeing our emojis uh, being used and they're being used by a lot of people that's the five dollar a month and then on the ten dollar a month we are doing uh, behind the scenes and we are doing a live uh, q a's and we've actually just started uh so there's not much for the for the ten dollar a month tier yet but we started we did our first uh, live q a um, last Sunday, mm -hmm. uh, one hour and a half with a, a very intimate group of people. It was really nice um, and we were answering a lot of questions and we we're giving a lot of one-on-one -on -one knitting tips. Uh, people ask us there and then and we give them uh, or knitting advice or we help them. Mm -hmm. So I think we have to go through the comments again for the next time yeah. because it's really hard to see everything. It goes quick. Yeah. So, so it went really well. Our first uh, members live Q&A for tier two 
went really, really well. And uh, we are going to continue doing them. Um, and because they're the members' streams, we don't have to do them at the usual time for the YouTube algorithm. We can do them whenever we want. So we're going to actually um, kind of highlight different continents. Um, and the next one we're going to do in August uh, for Tier 2 members is going to be early in the morning. We're going to do it at probably 6 a.m. in the morning because that way Australia, New Zealand, Nation. Japan... Uh, will get to uh, see the podcast live at a decent hour when they're awake. Um, and I think it's fair to, to alternate the time yeah. zones. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be doing that now, which I think is a great way to, uh, to do the live streams for our members. Yeah. So if you're interested in joining, all you need to do is go to our YouTube channel's main page. And next to the subscribe button, you'll find a join button. Um, click on that and then you can select your tier and we thank you so much for uh, your support it means a lot to us and it enables us to continue our channel and if you can't support it it's okay uh, as long as you watch our channel and comment and engage and help us uh, with this YouTube algorithms it starts to rain again it starts to rain again yeah um, then we have been uh, playing uh, we've been pretending to be these uh, archaeologists in ancient Rome and we have been excavating um, stuff. the site, uh, <laughs> but we're not in Rome. Obviously, we're in Norway. No, there's no statues. And the excavation site is Arne's studio, yeah. where we have been clearing layers and layers and layers of things. I constantly find stuff. What happens the day we clean? We can't find more stuff. I know. Look what. Look. Look at this. Oh, one. whoops! But we found a lot of interesting what is artifacts. This, this hat. From, from when? Is this from a collection or is this from the hat collection we did a few years ago? I think this is Dale Yarn, Dale Garn. And because I think we did a few, many years ago now, we did the collections of hats based on 96 stitches. Yeah. So that was the concept, 96 stitches. How many years ago? That was in 2010, Ten. maybe. I think this hat I is... I think maybe this is one of those. Part of that old collection. Do you want to try it and see how it fits? I, I can't. It fits. Yeah. It's very nice. I'm making a box. No, no, but you're making the rib too big. Yeah. I'm making a box fold it. with the hats fold it, now. Fold or it double. I'm, I'm collecting all, all the hats and stuff in, in boxes now. Because they, they are all over the place. Very nice. Yeah. I don't remember this pattern. It's nice. How it was made. It's like a little bubble. Look oh, yeah, at that. It's, it's, bubble, it's like popcorn. Is that yeah. what it's called in English? Maybe popcorn. It's not like a little bubble thing. It's yeah. very cute. I think very, this, very is, cute. this must be from that collection. It must be, yeah. It's super cute, Yeah. I have to say. He made many hats based on 96 stitches. We did, yes. So that was a thing yeah. at, the, at the time. And then... I've been collecting all the gar uh, garments from old collections. Yeah, but this, this is, is not. Nice. This is not from a collection. This is from. I, this is from the arts and crafts. Uh, we did the, the advent calendar. Or no, a calendar for the whole year with the arts and crafts. No, no. In Norway, who's Frieden? Yeah, no. But originally, this was in the Noskflid uh, catalog that we shot with Elin, the model. Remember? No, not this one. Yes, this one. No. Yes. No. Yes. Are you sure? I'm sure. But it was also the it was also that calendar. It was a calendar. There was plus it was a calendar and it was also it was in 2007, Arne. I don't remember. Trust me, I remember. Are yeah, you good at this? Yeah. But it's very pretty. <laughs> Again, it's very pretty. So this is um, it's a, a neck like, neck like a dicky cable and then there's like this other pattern. Hmm. Try it on. Let's see what that looks like. But I have a microphone. Well, let me So it's, it's actually it's fun to find these things. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Why don't we put it in, in the house and use it in the winter? Well, yeah, let's do that. Instead of just... Mm -hmm. We just put things in boxes or they float around. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm and I've been, I've been co collecting garments now from the time we went we're in the fashion industry. And to, up till now, I have 14 boxes with garments. Okay. Oh, and, this one I remember. And this is from the second collection we made. Yeah. And this I, is uh, something. And you started the embroidery and then I finished it. Yeah, we worked on it. So on the way. places where it's a bit uneven. It's not e uneven. Yes, it is. There's a place here. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, there is. There's a place here that is very uneven. And that is because that's where I have embroidered. You should put it up so people can see. Yeah, I'm So just... this is a skirt. 
Like yeah. this, this is like a traditional embroidery from Norway. It's called Klostersen. I don't know the English name. And then there are like, ho lo like hooks in the side, so you can put it on. So it's... Uh, and it's got these very high, yeah, high split, slits, slits on the because side. Because all the models had like very colorful stockings. Mm -hmm. And we lined it also yeah. with this blue. It's very pretty. Silk. So this is uh, something that actually, I think this was, the, I found it in the box. Yeah. From, with the does it have a label on it? The museum. No. The next one does. The next one has a label, and I can see it's the very first label that we did, which yeah, is not. This is from the same collection. Which is not very nice. After that, we made really beautiful labels in Italy, but yeah, this is our first, very first label. So actually, is it, but both of these things are more like a show show pieces, because yeah. it's really hard to produce. So this jacket is made in the flower loom. It was yeah. very popular in the 70s. People made uh, blankets, Baby blankets for their kids. And we made this in a yarn from the... <coughs> there's yeah. a factory in Lillehammer who make, uh, make yarn for... Embroidery, folk embroidery costume, embroidery, and, folk embroidery, costume yeah. and fabrics. So it's quite coarse. It's, yeah. I think if we washed it, it will be it will soften soft. Doesn't it? Oh yeah, it has... Uh, oh yeah, like I remember now. It's got like a closure, which is a pom-pom that you can just you pull put. it through there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is very old stuff. Uh, yeah, there you go, with a pom-pom. This is uh, from 2002, I think. Two th yeah, 2002. Yeah. But we it's, did uh, a collection based on all the arts and crafts we learned from our grandmothers. Yeah. So this was one, and this is another one. I think this came from the same collection, or yeah. was this another one? And here's the label, the, our very first label before we made beautiful labels in Italy. It looked like this. I think we had this label just a year. Mm. And it was made very quickly in, um, <laughs> I think, here in Norway. Like, very expensive. Probably more expensive to make this one than the ones that we made later, mm. that we had designed and, and all that. But this was like a last minute or, you know, oh, we need a label. And then we just made it. Yeah. We made like 50 labels. And uh, so there's very few garments of ours with this label on. Yeah. So this is a very nice archival piece. I don't think we've ever shown it before. I don't remember. Yeah. And I can't wear this because it's really it's small, small. But uh, you can put it on the I can put it on the sleeve so you get an idea. So yeah. So this is the flower loom and then we crochet it so around. So you get a little idea of what it So we have crocheted around the flower yeah. and into the it's called Petals, is yeah. that the word? Yeah. And the colors are really nice. It's all pink, red, mm. orange. And there's different shades of pink. And there's different shades of orange as well. There's only one red. But there's two shades of pink and two shades of orange. So, uh, and here you can see the, uh, the florals. Mm. So, um, we should wrap yeah. it in this uh, paper that is good for storage. Yeah. We and acid-free uh, acid box free paper. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we were very lucky when we designed this one and made it because it took, it's probably a few hundred hours of work and <laughs> we didn't get any orders, no. thank goodness. Thank luck. No orders on this one because if we had, we probably would still be making them today because uh, this is a lot of work. This is probably two, three hundred hours of it's crocheting. Of, a it's of, a lot of work. And the loom, the flowers. Yeah, the loom, took the, forever. yeah, that takes forever. And the quantities of the yarn yeah. as well. Because we made those flowers and then we gathered them with the crocheting. Mm. So let's crochet around the eye of the flower. Mm. So it's, it's fun to find these yeah. things. But now I'm, go I'm, I'm putting them well, in it's boxes. Not, it's not very heavy, to be honest. No. It's not very heavy. And yeah, the two different shades of orange, the two different shades of pink. Uh, and it's all in a very nice system. It's, it's, um, I found the loom. We still have the loom. Mm. So, so I think we have two of those. Yeah. But I don't remember how we did it. So yeah, but, but it's beautiful. It's still try. beautiful. I mean, the yarn is very thin. This is like, what you call this yarn again? Embroidery yarn. No. Yeah, but for full costumes. For it's very thin. And the factory sponsored us. Remember yeah. we got all for our, this is our second collection. I think. Yeah, I think our, yeah. Our first collection made it into the newspapers, and so we were kind of hyped. And then we went to this company, and we asked them if they could sponsor 
the fabrics for our second collection, and they did. And they also sponsored the embroidery yarn. And it's the same company that makes the fabrics that we are wearing in our folk costumes. So the, mm -hmm. the white wool from my jacket mm -hmm. and, and the black one from yours yeah. and the pants. The pants are and all also the, the vests that we have in, in the tartan. Those are all made in this factory in Lillehammer, Gubbransdalens Ulvarefabrik. When I was younger, I had this, uh, I, I produced um, rugs for people who have cottages and I sold them. Mm. So I was have a big loom up in my grandmother's house in the second floor. I actually had two big looms, so I was working on two different looms. Serious. So I made this, um, like, we call them Finnish rugs because mm. they are like the edges. Rag rugs, of, actually. Rag, yeah. I call them rag rugs. Yeah, they're from I the, love a rag rug. the edges of the fabric. They cut off and so it's hairy and then you comb the hair out. Mm. So they're like, it's like floss or what you call it. Yeah. So that's also from the same. So place. we are planning a couple of episodes on weaving. Uh, Arne yeah. has a couple of very beautiful looms. I think we have three the big ones. Yeah, well, you have an old one that is like... 18, early from, 18th century, uh, one it's really from my old. my grandmother, she got it from an old lady as a gift. And it's from the 18th century. Yeah. And then you have one from your mom that is a little bit more modern yeah. or new. It's also old, Yeah, but that, that's the one we're going to put up. I think. It's old new because it's newer than the, the old, old one. one. Yeah. But what we want to do is we're going to film a few episodes where we look at all the parts and then maybe we'll build one of them yeah. up to show you. Actually, how. I found for the green one, the big one, I found uh, the I have no clue what the names are in English. I have to check that. We have but to check that, yeah. The, the threads for the, for the loom, the, the warping or mill? the warp or whatever, uh, they are still on that roll. Oh. So I must have put that loom down when I moved from home and hmm. when we moved here. So the yarn, the thread is still on the loom. So we had to yeah. take it out to see if it's rotten or if we can use it. Yeah, we're going to have to take a look at all of that and see what we can do and maybe film a few episodes on that. I think that people would enjoy that. Would you enjoy that? If you would, give us a comment about it and uh, we'll see if we can manage to film that next time that Anna and Eric are here. It has, to be, it has to be filmed in September yeah. when we're here because uh, other, otherwise, uh, because it has to be done outdoors. Mm -hmm. And have to see if we remember how to put it together. Yeah, that's because the other thing. Because we haven't done it for a long time. Yeah, that's the other and thing. Th and then I found this. Yeah, these are nice. Remember I made this? Yep. So this is, uh, we have this machine that you put wood. Dreie bank, what's that in English, you think? It's we like, should have looked up these words before we started the yeah, podcast. I didn't think about that. The machine that turns around and you use something to... It goes around yeah. like this, you put a piece of wood in put the Put it machine, in the comments so that we learn some more English. And shape this. So I made this uh, for the embroidery yarn. And then I put numbers under my pencil. So, because my idea was that to have a lot of these yeah. on the shelf. It's a beautiful idea though. But there's so much embroidery yarn. Yeah. But can you imagine having these? Yeah, it looks like a little village of embroidery yarns in different, yeah. you know, and then you're gonna do every one of these different, right? Oh yeah, I can't do the same. You're very skillful with wood. I know, thank you. It's really, but really good. this is good. actually very fun. We have the machine in the, in the other house. But you haven't used it for a long, long time. So maybe we should try to put it up and see if it still works. Yeah. Because this is so fun. They, these are pretty. I, I even made jewelry in wood yeah, using yeah, yeah, that yeah. machine. Just tiny yeah. pieces of wood with silver. So Yeah, your mom like had earrings. a few pieces that she, she always some, wore. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. So this is, it's nice to find these again. Mm. I'm going to put them on the book, on the shelf somewhere. And then I'm loving this one here, Arne. I am totally in love with this. Yeah, that was something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I had this idea I should buy all the old hangers I could find yeah. and cover them up. So I started with one that we had. Look, at it's coming out. Yeah. This is... Um, it's actually really nice. This is a very old thing because we yeah. found one in the thrift shop and then I started to do them myself. But that was crocheting. Well, so this is crocheting, but this is knitting. This is knitted and this is crocheted. But I think they are kind of cool. It's so cute to cover up your hangers. So, I find stuff, you see. Yes, you do, all the time. And this is uh, just uh, a piece, like a long piece, and I made, I think I just pulled the, the, this hook through the knit, and then I sew it together under. Mm. So, this is fun. Very much so. Oh, there's one stitch that is broken. I have to redo this mm -hmm. one. 
or do a duplicate stitch. You can stitch it up. So, and then there's one more. This one, um, this one was made by you before I met you, so you have to talk about it. I have yeah, no this idea. Is, I think, was it last time we showed that thing? Oh, the cravat, yeah, the, for yeah. your costume, your 18th and century costume. My, and this is the trousers. I found the trousers that I made. And on this one, maybe we have some sequence mm. or what's it? Polyester? Yeah, sequence. Sequence. So I made this uh, Acanthus embroidery. So this is like kind of fun to have. Very beautiful. I also had to have a jacket with embroidery on that goes with this one. Mm -hmm. And then I was wearing white stockings. Yeah. I made buttonholes because they were sliding down. Mm. <laughs> you know what? Um, mm? I'm looking at that sweater over there. This which one? is, yeah, that's the final piece we're going to show. Yeah, because this one, I, I, I was wearing this one on YouTube many, many years yeah. ago. And actually, it has never been a good fit. It's, it's a not bit, a good fit. It's, it's a bit narrow. It's a, it's a sweater from a uh, thrift store. I was thinking it was from Kiliwatch in Paris. But thinking about it, I think no. I think it's from Japan. No, no, no. We got it in Paris, but I think we got it in a, in a secondhand store, not in Killy Watch. I don't remember. It's, a, it's because it's quite simple. I don't think Killy Watch would have sold something like well, maybe this. Maybe not. But uh, what I'm going to do... I'm gonna but it is, I believe it or not, but it is a Norwegian sweater. It's made, hand-knitted, 100% wool, made in Norway, in Karl Johansgate. 12. Karl Johansgate is the... the, the 27 in Oslo. And it's called um, Cyril Sweater Shop. Yeah, and Carl Johan is in the center. It's the pedestrian street uh, that leads up to the palace. So it's way in the center of Oslo. Yeah. So this is an old Norwegian brand. Yeah. And we found it in Paris. Yep. And it yeah. looks hand-knitted. Hand yeah, and we've worked with this idea of just making a it's design on the front. We've done this before. Yeah, we've used uh, this as inspiration. So yeah, it, it's actually really cool. And it's got, I mean, it's a really nice... Um, it's a really nice design, actually. But, but it, this one kills you. Yeah, this is very warm. The, the wool is very coarse yeah. and uh, it's impossible to wear. So we've never actually worn it. I worn it once on YouTube on the film, yeah, but, but you, it was warm. You must have been sweating like sweating. Uh, crazy. <laughs> yeah. And the sleeves are short. Yeah. So we're going to, I think we should put this out when Eric comes and we can do a video on how we actually Fix it. We can modify it somehow. So we can yeah. actually use it. So I'm going to take this one down to the local yarn store when we go down there next time and see if I have this. I know there's a Norwegian yarn that is exactly like this. Maybe the Norwegian have. wool, if you put two ends together, could no, be. I no, I think it's. I think we have to use uh, what's it called, three tits garn. Yeah. Maybe probably, or yeah. Um, something. Yeah. yeah. Here you go. So this is what we're going to fix it. Like. So it's, it will be in the same spirit as this one yeah. because this one is also too small mm. so, so I think it's nice to fix all these old things and try to use them mm -hmm. and if we can use them it's good if not they go back to the archives they do yeah but this one I think we need to wash it because this has never been washed it's just well, been hanging outside we've never washed it anyway. no we never washed it but I and think we've never need, really worn it either so I need I think it need a wash to soften up mm. it doesn't feel mm. like it's been washed like mm. that I love There's it. some long clothes yeah. in this one so you have to be careful when you put it on yeah. because the knitter hasn't been very good careful <laughs> with the floats yeah like look at this one this is long but you don't put your fingers there mm. so yeah well, I've yeah. really enjoyed sitting here out in the terrace and I love summer rain which is what we have right now it's raining quite quite a lot uh, but it's not cold so it's 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 still warm enough that we can sit outside um, but we're going to take the opportunity uh, today as it's raining to do some you know catching up on some work inside yeah. and uh, tomorrow by the time you watch this we might be sunbathing not <laughs> not because <laughs> we never do um, <laughs> uh, but we will be enjoying our garden and, and hopefully what will be sun or at least no rain um, hopefully the mosquito magnet will be uh, catching even more yeah. mosquitoes um, because I'm not happy with the results yet, but it's only been there for two days, yeah. so I think I need some patience. And we have to tell something before we stop. 
because we also had an accident with the Beetle again. Oh, yeah. No, not an accident. Not accident, man. but... Accidents the, is when you crash into another car yeah, and but, die but or something the like electricity, that. the electricity went again. Yeah, we lost electricity Same problem, again. And then now it's back in the garage. And it seems like the things they changed mm. in that thing actually get destroyed where it, yeah. where, they, where it sits. So we have to change the whole thing. The Dynamo. I don't know yeah. what it's in English, the Dynamo. But um, I, I'm still waiting for the books I order on Amazon. Yeah, the, thank you so much for the advice for and the, advice. Uh, the Volkswagen Beetle Guide for the Complete Idiot. Yeah, we, ha I, we bought um, it. I bought that we one and it. another one. Uh, we, or we found it online on Amazon. We bought it and it's coming. <laughs> and, and now I have to, yeah. I have to learn all, all the yeah. English words. Luckily, we, when we went down, we were going to Oslo to do, to do some errands and to get my hair cut and all that. And luckily, we had started early because uh, we wanted to do some shopping before um, for, the, for our party that we had here. And uh, luckily we went so early that we were able to, even with the mishap, 40 minutes from here, we were be, you know, able to be towed back with a car. <laughs> yeah. And we got our other car and we got there on time. So we were able to shop and to get my hair cut, which was good. Um, we had called a taxi though, that was the first thing we did because our insurance covers the taxi. So we called a taxi because we thought it would be quicker and the taxi driver promised that it would take 35 minutes. Yeah. And then by 50 minutes he said, oh, I still have 20 minutes to go before I get there. And then the truck, the towing truck came and we asked the towing truck if we could sit in the car and get towed. He said yes. So I called and canceled the taxi. Taxi driver was probably very angry, but you know, if they promise they're going to be there in 35 minutes, and at 50 minutes, they're still not there. And you're in the middle Tough of luck. nowhere. And you're and in the like, middle of nowhere. It's not so fun. we were towed again. This is the second time we got towed in our Beetle. It's stylish. Um, in one year. It happened last summer. Yeah. So we went in style. Yeah. And then we had a great party here um, with 10 people. It was really nice. We had a fabulous dinner. Nice uh, weather. Nice weather. We were really lucky with the weather. So we were outdoors most of the time. Um, I made a rhubarb pie, which was, um, yeah, Delicious. I, I'm not a very good baker, but my rhubarb pie with that dough is one of those things that I make that is amazing and it can never go wrong. I, mean, I have never, more rhubarb, you should yeah, make more pie. I've never failed with that, yeah, but except I'm on a diet right now, so. <laughs> you start tomorrow. You can start tomorrow. Uh, yeah. What about the pie this I've been evening? Saying, a pie tonight would be good. I've been saying a that pie. I'm going to start my diet forever, and I haven't, no, so not. No. I'm not on a Let's diet. Have a diet. I'm just kidding. Let's have a pie. Anyway, we had rhubarb pie when everybody arrived, tea and coffee and rhubarb pie. Then we had a big barbecue, which was really fun, and uh, we got a really nice three-liter bottle of champagne, of Bollinger. I don't know when we should drink that. That I don't know. Um, you can't open it. No, I mean... It, there's no space for it in the fridge. It's ginormous. <laughs> no. It's the biggest bottle of champagne. You have to have another party. I've ever seen, yeah. yeah. We need to have but another But it was nice. Um, so yeah, it was, it was a nice uh, 60th uh, celebration. And we still have one more to go with your family. Yeah. Oh, um, send them. We have to... Text them and ask if they can. We have to do that. When we finish the podca this podcast, I think we should sit down with our calendars. And see when. And figure a, a couple of things out. Because we also need to go to Sweden to visit my mom and dad um, soon. So I'm yeah. I'm not taking the car. I'm not getting the clown back to the house in a while. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, see how the beetle feels if he's in for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we hope that you have enjoyed this episode um, of Sit In It For A Bit. And we hope you have enjoyed seeing some of our pieces that we have ex excavated from our archeological site that is Arne's <laughs> studio. There's no more things to ex excavate. Your studio is so empty. Up there, there's probably nothing. It's empty and but looking... But things are coming. Yeah. I'm doing things. But it is empty and looking fabulous. I think it's looking <laughs> amazing there. So anyway, we hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to comment uh, and interact with us as this really helps us uh, grow here on YouTube. Um, and the newsletter is still the best way to, you know, keep up with all our shenanigans. So consider subscribing to that. Or you can be a member. Or become a member everything. and get additional perks and help support the channel financially. We will appreciate anything uh, we can get from you guys, whether it's a membership or whether you're just watching. It's all equally important. And uh, July is uh, what we call Christmas in July. So um, in a few weeks time, 
we are going to be uh, releasing this year's Christmas stocking uh, for 24 hours only at a very good uh, discount for our newsletter subscribers only. So if you want to get that Christmas stocking real early and uh, real cheap, you will have to become a subscriber. Yeah, and that's because we learned about Christmas in July when we went to Australia we in did. 2017. So yep. we haven't heard about that before. But it's winter there. So. Yeah, so they celebrate Christmas in July. So we're going to be doing <laughs> a little Christmas in July for our Aussie and Kiwi friends, our friends in Australia and New Zealand. Yeah. So uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, we will see you again uh, next week. Yeah. And now we have to Same go hour. and see what's happening. We have to do but that. But now yes. it's quiet. The car or the thing yeah. left. Let's get our umbrellas and let's go and have a look. <laughs> be at, noisy. Let's go and be helpful no, neighbors. Not noisy. Not noisy. What? Nosy. Nosy. But, nosy. We, but instead nosy. of saying nosy, we'll say helpful. Yeah, we're we're going to go and help our neighbors out. Yeah. Help. Help. And just figure out what are they doing. <laughs> so see so you. thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>